You may be asked to identify if an equation is an equation of a circle. And then you're also asked to find the center and the radius of the circle. So let's have a look at an example. In this case, we've got x squared plus y squared plus 2x minus 2y is equal to 2. And if this was the equation of a circle, then we should be able to write it like this. x minus a squared plus y minus b squared is equal to r squared. Now, in this case, then, a, b would be the center of the circle and r would be the radius. So the idea is to write what we have here in that form. Now, how do we do that? That's where completing the square comes in. So if we wanted to write this like that, first of all, let's rearrange a bit and let's put everything that relates to x together and everything that relates to y. So let's write x squared plus 2x and then plus y squared minus 2y is equal to 2. So I've just rearranged this a little bit. Now the x squared plus 2x I can do something with. I can write this as x squared plus 2 times x times 1 and then I can write plus 1 squared minus 1 squared meaning I'm adding and subtracting 1 which means I haven't made any change and I'll do the same for the y so I write this as y squared minus 2 times y times 1 plus 1 squared minus 1 squared so I'm adding and subtracting the same number meaning I'm not changing anything and that's equal to 2. Now what do I get if I write this in a different way? This is actually x plus 1 squared and as it turns out this is actually y minus 1 squared. Alright so that's worked out. What's left is a minus 1 squared so that's minus 1. There's another minus 1 squared so that's minus 1 is equal to 2. And if we continue here, we can write this as x plus 1 squared plus y minus 1 squared minus 2 is equal to 2, or bring across the minus 2, meaning we're adding 2 on both sides, and that's equal to 4. And 4 is, of course, 2 squared. So now we have our equation in the form that we wanted it to be in. And we have the center as minus 1 and 1, and the radius as r equals 2. So here we go. It's a circle and we have the center and the radius.